On demand is very important, and I'll tell you why. You see, this light just went on. That means that the gas pressure has already been reached, and the machine itself has stopped producing gas. Now, another thing I want you to look at here. I don't know if you can see this, but the water is already boiling. That's how fast this gas will heat. It's very, very efficient. Now let me turn this back on again, and you'll see the water is boiling. Now this green light just went on here, and this gauge is showing you how much energy is required to produce the gas. When the proper gas pressure is obtained. This light goes out, and this yellow light will come on, telling you that the gas is no longer being produced by our machine. This is gas on demand. There is no storage of the gas; it is totally on demand. That means no propane tanks, no gas tanks that can explode, no gas tanks that need to be transported from your distributor to your home. It's all here on demand. Gas on demand does a very good job. It's very fast and it's very very safe. Okay, Epic manufactures several different products、uh, for producing oxygen and hydrogen gas. Two of them are designed specifically for cooking, and these you see here. We have the EP one sixty eight. Which is a single burner, and the EP 200, which is a dual burner. It has two burners. In addition to that, we have、uh, three burner and four burner units, which are about to enter the market. As I also showed you, we have our smallest unit. This is the EP 130, produces about 300 liters of oxygen and hydrogen gas per hour. This is the EP 230. Slightly larger unit. This puts out about 680 liters per hour. This unit is one of our newer ones. This is the EP350. This produces 1,800 liters of gas per hour. Very simple. You have a pressure gauge, an LCD screen which、uh, shows you. Uh, different status, what's going on with the machine, an output valve, which you see right here. Here's your outlet for the gas. Very simple design, very sleek. We move up to our EP500. This produces 3,600 liters of gas per hour, about double what this one does. Then we move up the line to our EP560. This produces 5,600 liters per hour of gas, and then we move up to our larger unit, which is the EP1000. The EP1000 has two large chambers for producing gas, a control unit, and a temperature control unit. This EP1000 produces 10,200 liters of gas per hour. These can also be linked together, so we can produce as much fuel as you need. For example, if you need a half a million liters of fuel per hour, we simply connect 43 sets of these together, and you have it. So we can produce any amount of fuel that you need. It doesn't matter how little or how much. We can do it. Okay, now I'm going to show you、uh, one of the more interesting applications for this type of oxygen-hydrogen mixed gas, and that is for steel cutting. Here we have a nice big thick block of steel. You can see it's about one inch thick, so that's about 25 centimeters, right? One inch. You can see also that this is. Just a block of steel. It has not been prepared in any way. This is important because normally, if you want to cut steel, you need to make sure that the steel you're cutting is clean, rust-free, 
doesn't have any paint on it or anything like that. Using our fuel, there's no preparation of the steel required. That saves you time. Okay. This is a, a torch that's specifically designed for cutting steel. You see we have three gas lines going to it, the red, the green, and the black. The red hose is the gas that comes directly from our machine. This is oxygen and hydrogen mixed gas. This red hose is the oxygen and hydrogen gas from our machine. This black hose is pure oxygen, which is used to balance the flame. And this green hose is pure oxygen that's used to actually cut the steel. Without that, our fuel will only melt the steel. This is true for steel cutting. There are certain things that you should be noticing right now. The first thing is that it's very quiet compared to other gases. The other thing is that there's no smoke whatsoever. And the third thing is that it's very fast. Now before I had talked to you about the characteristics of this fuel that it's a focused heat. And this is very important, especially for steel cutting, because when you cut steel, especially this thick, normally with traditional fuels, the entire piece of steel gets very, very hot. But as you can see here, it is hot. But if I was using acetylene to cut this, I would have no skin left. Even after making four cuts on this block of steel, this area here is only hot. I can still touch it. This is a huge difference. So if you were doing cuts, in a factory, you would be able to handle this steel much faster than you would using traditional fuels. Another interesting thing, as I said before, you don't need to prepare this steel before you cut it. And as you can see from the surface after it's cut, it's very smooth and very clean. The only thing I have on my hand is rust. So it's much faster to work with, it's much more efficient, it's much cleaner, there's no smoke, no pollution, and it does a great job. Okay, uh, what I'm going to show you now is a high temperature burner. Here's the burner, okay, and we're going to just sh show you just how much power you can get using this fuel. Alright, I'm going to turn the burner on. Now you remember what I told you before about the characteristics of oxygen and hydrogen.